Okay. It should take but a couple of seconds. That's a great picture for chapter three. Right? She looks like she's dead. She's not, but... Uh, isn't she, like, dying? No, she's having a baby, which I guess in some ways I is mean, very similar. Cool. You feel like you're dying. I agree. I say speaking from all the experience in the world, which is none. I mean, you know, from my experience, it was kind of a shit experience, so... You know it's pretty bad when you can have epidurals that are needles injected into your back in order to dull the pain, and you're like, yes, I will take the epidural. And they miss the first time, and you're like, you know what, go for it again. Yep. I trust you this time. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get those jitters out. It's fine. It's yeah. okay. Yeah. All right. So, recapping our introduction that we've done every episode thus far. So, this is a semi-blind playthrough. I have played Seasons one, two, and three, and the 400 Days DLC. I've not played the Michonne stuff. I have not played season four. There may or may not be spoilers for the remainder of this season and season three. Um, I am making pretty much all the decisions. Um, the main thing that uh, Delta is going to chime in on are if I get stuck during a puzzle or if um, there's some kind of like weird um, weird result that whenever like the options don't really make sense the options do not reflect what the character actually says yeah, yeah that um anything else that i'm missing um we do a little bit of a recap at the end of each episode for any characters that died uh it will just be if they died so if we get determinate ones because like i mentioned last episode alvin had the potential to die but he did not we would have recapped him there had he died um so if we get characters like that then we will of course recap them uh whenever they die at any given point, provided that they are actually important enough to the story. Um, and then we will also discuss the what ifs. So if you pick one option, we will discuss what happens should you choose something else. All right, let's go. So in the last episode, since we clearly weren't paying attention. Well, that was episode one, so. That was episode one. You did this. Think uh, about it. You're Carver, what do you do? What's the most important thing in this world? Food. Um, Bonnie. Money. Bonnie's the most important thing in this world. People like Matthew aren't coming back. Is that a line again? People like I think, Matthew aren't coming back? I think it depends on the, the dialogue options you have. It's not in that scene, that. though. It's in the scene where, like, right before you're, he can say, is Nick a good guy or is he like everybody Rebecca, else? Uh -huh. Our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. Oh! No, you're a creep. We're going home. To the place where we belong. You know what? Your mom. Devastating. <laughs> Your mom you is a him. place? Yes. Because the only time that she's going to see 90210 is on the scale. She sees a lot of uh, traffic, too. Oh! It's a butterfly? Moth? It's a flying insect that we're staring at. It's a bugo. Pet the buggo. Inspect the tree. You got done over there? No. Yeah, yeah you can hear a bit of a mead in his voice. Thanks for coming with me. A little. It's scary out here. I know they made you. <laughs> Omid got reincarnated as an asshole. We're friends. Friends look out for one another. We I are, like it when Clementine has friends. Well, if you need to pee, let me know. Would be a shame. I'll keep look out for you, too. Yeah, yeah. when she okay. inevitably... Dies. Hey. Everything come out all right, girls. Land Trek. Troy, get them tied Instead up. Star Trek. We'll do. Fantastic. Yep, nailed it. Well, we're on our way. Probably thirty minutes out. Make sure everyone's prepped. Emotions might be running high. Your mom might be running high. Carver out. If I find out you've been wasting fuel to keep that fucking heater going, I'll make you walk back. Nope. Froze my ass off. Just like you told me to. Disrespect. It ain't polite to listen to other folks' conversations. Bro, you're standing right there. What do you want me to do? Has anyone uh, ever taught you that? Keep staring. <laughs> Fuck you. No, hey, now. Don't hit my friend. You don't want to test me, girl. I'll pass every time. You really won't, though. Leave her alone. 
Yeah, well, the test is, are you a douchebag and you failed? Tie her up and throw her in with the rest <laughs> of them. It's the subreddit of, am I the asshole? The answer is yes, you are. Right? Mm. Bonnie, you're a part of this. Yeah. God. You're complicit. Pretty sure she says later in the episode, it's like, yeah, but now people are dead and I feel, but I can't feel but help uh, that I'm to blame for all this. It's like, yeah, you kind of are. There's no need to put the gun on us. What are we going to do? Okay? Run? With our the hands tied? Hey, did he hurt you? Hey, hey! The Walking Dead. I'm trying to remember what the Walking Dead theme song is. From the show or from the... From the show. Is there one? It's just all instrumental. Oh, okay. That makes me feel a little better. In the early seasons, it was like... It'd have a bunch of shots of, like, nature stuff and the pa uh, the passage of time progressing quickly. Uh, has, like, the stopwatch spinning really quickly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I remember. I just, I have the Danny Phantom theme song stuck in my head right now, so that's all that I was getting, and I was like, that's not right. <laughs> Sick bass lines, that can't be The Walking Dead. <laughs> Yo, Danny Phantom, he was just 14 when the world went to shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the, the eternal question that people will Anything? fight tooth and nail for, is it in fact Yo Danny Fenton or Young Danny Fenton? Hey, Clint, help me find something to I prefer Yo because, Anything like, the fact, the, the fact of the line of he was just 14 kind of negates the reason of saying Young. Gotta get out of here. Like, you're basically like just repeating yourself. What do you mean, like what? Mm -hmm. Something sharp. Anything that can help. A fucking, I don't know, anything. A fucking, uh, We're in a fucking precarious position here. We gotta do something about Settle that. Settle down, Kenny. They took everything. We have to keep a level head. He's right. You don't know Bill like we do. Bill? This whole time it's Carver, Carver, Carver. Now he's fucking Bill? Well, what do you see? Oh, I see what it is. Y'all are just getting a ride home, aren't you? That's what's going on. Clearly we're getting Say kidnapped. <laughs> Stay out of this, boy. You Mr. have eyeballs. Boy. No, right. You're a man. You don't understand. He's different. It's worse. The fuck are you talking about? He wants to punish us. What do you mean worse? He's a fucking psychopath now. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Oh, he gave me a pretty good goddamn idea. I mean, that's fair. Lodge, and I don't intend to sit around here and let that happen to the rest of us. Ouch. I'm trying to help. I'm sure Walter really appreciated your help. Hey now. That's not fair. You're blaming him for the actions of a madman. I am pointing out that regardless of intent, there are consequences to rash actions. That's fair. Something that he seems to be misreading as capitulation. I don't what? know what the fuck you're saying, but I know it's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> to do That's such a good line. Me too. Oh shit. Jackpot. This Sit down. Wrong. Going to get us all killed. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. We get cooped up in some kennel like a bunch of fucking dogs. It's over. You don't know that. Yeah? Well, I've been in this situation before. You ever been a prisoner? Stop fighting! Please. Stop fighting. All right. Now we're talking. Carver will be on the other side of that door with ten people. <laughs> there, there, baby. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> At this point, maybe Luke is the only hope we have. If he was gonna do something, he'd have done it by oh, now. Oh yeah, Luke knows what he's I dealing with. What the fuck he yeah. Anything can happen out there. I'll tell you what happened. He abandoned us. Hey now. You don't know that. Hey now. I know he ain't here. He may not be around, but he wouldn't just leave us behind. That guy's a flake. I could tell the second I set eyes on him. Luke will help us. Oh yeah? When? After that crazy fucks killed us all? Sir? Hey, look. Clem. Your tone. Close. Please okay, watch it. let's do this. They have guns. What exactly do you expect to do? I'm gonna punch the first son of a bitch I see. <laughs> then I'm gonna take his gun and use it to shoot the next son, son of a bitch I see. <laughs> there's gonna be a lot. There's gonna be lots of sons of a bitches out there. Just so you know. Hey, just, You're never gonna happens, guess. Just help out, okay? What happens Don't, to the third son of a bitch nothing, that I see? But any help would be good. <laughs> Go ahead, guess. Take a Look, take a wild guess. You trust me, right? Mm. Kenny, please, just. Just listen to them. I, I'm scared, Kenny. Okay, hon. That's okay. That's okay. All right. Everybody, run. Kenny! Uh, Kenny, 
are you okay? Is he okay? I think Our so. Hero. He just ate shit, that's all. He's fine. It's probably for the best. Our hero. Bro, you just whacked your own head into the side of that thing. That is your fault. Damn brakes ain't working for shit. All right. Hey, there's Davia from uh, Former Days. Hey. The fuck? How'd you get your restraints off? Come here. Fuck off. We've got some familiar faces back with us tonight. Now, I understand some of you are confused. This is the point where you might see some of the other DLC characters outside of Bonnie. Hey. I think I've got an idea. You might not come all at once, but time will heal you. Excuse me. And the data from the DLC should download, so um, there are certain people no that we won't see. Yeah, we will not see There's Russell or Wyatt, I believe. Yeah. But Vince, uh, we've already seen Bonnie, and then Shell and Becca will be there. Have. Oh, I hope you ain't saying what I think you're saying. Isn't her name also Rebecca? Rebecca. If you mean the pregnant one, Rebecca. Yeah. 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 It's Rebecca versus Becca, that's all. Just uh, come the fuck on. Turn our way. It's nothing we can't handle. I need him. I need my dad. This is a call. Yeah, just a little. They have been taken into consideration. However, this is not up for debate. Sorry. He'll be back. When? I don't know, but he will come back. Thanks, Clem. And with the added manpower joining us this evening, I have no doubt that we will continue. Make sure y'all stay off the fence. Bill can save you from messing with it. Just to survive. It's our obligation. Creepy. We love this. A beacon of hope. That's what was this? Was this like a really complicated yep. warehouse? I think it's yeah, they pulled into like Lowe's. Like Lowe's department store, Home Depot, that kind of thing. This ain't bad for like a prison. Y'all best get some rest. Mm -hmm. There ain't gonna be much for you tomorrow. You're gonna be working hard. That's for you. Yeah, it would be. Fucking Bill. Keeps me out in the cold. But at least I'll be comfortable. Hey guys. Hey, cold. Richie. Yeah. <gasps> oh. I'm so yeah, sorry. I'm so there. sorry. What did they do to you? This could have been worse, trust me. I'm lucky to be alive. It's my fault. No, it's really not. I would tell you if it was. Nick, what is it? This happened well after you guys left. I guess I should say Reggie helped us you, when we ran away. What happened to his arm? I don't know. We were all running out together, but then he fell, and everybody kept running. I know he had both his arms then. When I left, so they got me working yeah, outside. Too. Lurker. <laughs> he screamed, "Don't go on without me!" And everybody else didn't even bother to look back, and they just screamed, "Okay." I saved my life. That's awful. I'm so sorry. Look, I mean, it was my choice to help yep. you guys. Alvin Carver wants you in his office. What? Why? That Don't make this well. difficult. It's too nope. late for that. No, please. It's okay, Beck. Just get some rest. If he wanted to do something to me, he'd have done it already. I'll be fine. Uh huh. And that was the last <laughs> anyone ever saw Malvin. Hail the conquering hero. <laughs> Press F to pay respects. Oh. Hey, Troy. Don't go fucking up now. Bill's real close to letting you out of here. You make sure things stay nice and quiet out here tonight, and I'll be sure to let Bill know just how helpful you were. I'm working yeah, on you can it. count on me. Thanks, Troy. Don't mention it. You got some kind of Stockholm syndrome going on. Yeah, he been, he's been drinking the Kool Aid. <laughs> he's yeah. been drinking a lot of the Kool Aid. No, too All right. much. Let me introduce you. We were with them when we got caught. Hey, I'm Reggie. That's Sarita. Hello. And that's Kenny. Hey. Uh. Hello. Uh, who are okay. you? Okay. I was like, excuse me. This freaks you out. <laughs> I love that line. This, this freaks, freaks you out. Nice to meet you, Clementine. Yes. Luckily, he can shake hands like a normal person because it's Your his left arm that's gone. Yeah, so. Looking at some folks. Oh, okay. Good. What about Pete? Oh. I believe he would also ask about Alvin and uh, and Nick can too. You guys save if it for I of them morning? did not survive. Yeah. 
Angry. Someone's gotta be up early. Who's that? I don't know. I don't recognize the voice. No problem. Sorry about that. Sorry. Okay, that's <laughs> me. He's kind of a dick when he's tired, but like I said, he saved my life, so <laughs> I put up with that shit. Bill put him to work outside the wall with me. I'm so sorry. Stop with all the sorry. It was my choice. Besides, he said once you were all caught, he'd let me rejoin oh, the group, so I'm glad you're here. I'm just joking. I know. I mean, he did say that, but I'm not happy about it. What the fuck is that? The fuck huh? is that? The Who? fuck are you? The girl over there? Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so she's fucking weird. They found her sneaking <laughs> around outside the camp covered in guts and just, like, the grossest shit. It's probably best not to stare. I know how it must look, but it's really not that bad here. Reggie. No, I'm serious. Where else are you going to find food like we have? We've got the canned stuff, and now with the greenhouses coming along, we've got fresh food. The building's getting more and more secure all the time. Mostly through forced labor, but that's only arm. temporary. Mostly They've through even forced got the labor, but that's only working. temporary. When was the last time you had electricity, huh? Literally. Well, we just came from today. a lodge with a wind turbine. It's not a competition. I'm just saying, it's <laughs> not as bad Rude. as you think. We're building something great here, guys. A real community. Bill is making a it A real happen. community based off of slave labor. Look, I've made mistakes, and he's forgiven me. That doesn't make up for what he's done, Reggie. Are you serious? You're joking, right? Listen, I'm really close to getting let back into the group. Once that happens, I can do a lot more to help you guys be more comfortable. Comfortable? Yeah, well, what do you it. think this is? I just don't want you to mess things up for me. I've worked really hard to get to this point. Will you please just try not to cause any trouble? At least no. until they arrest me. Then, once I'm out, I could help you more. Maybe even help get you out. Love you. We can at least talk about it more in the morning. Just have a quiet night and chat again tomorrow. I can't believe what yeah, I'm well. Look, the fact is, Bill had every reason to kill me when I helped you guys, but he didn't. Obviously, I don't know what happened while you were all gone, but he's given me a second chance, and I know he'd do the same for you. Reggie, I don't want I'm sure that's chance. exactly what's going on in uh, his office right now as he's talking that's with Alvin. It. He's like, yeah, you know what? I'm willing to give you a second chance. Mm -hmm. That's exactly mm -hmm. what's going on. Precisely. Alvin is not yeah, getting the on. absolute yeah. shit kicked yeah, out of it see all. Something for her to drink. Okay. Yeah, this water over by the bench. Also, why has the doctor not uh, been looking at the pregnant plan. lady? Should have actually made a plan. <laughs> <laughs> Should have actually made a plan. Should have had a V8. guy. I don't think we can trust him. I mean, clearly he's already drank too much. <laughs> he even says it too. <laughs> you gotta take a look around. He's totally right, though. We gotta know if there's anything we can exploit to get out of here. We're in a tight spot. And I have to wriggle our way out. Well, what should I be looking for? Stuff that they don't want us to know about. They? That right. Troy asshole's gone for now. This is our chance. Don't worry about Reggie. I'll go help run interference on him. Why do they always have me go out and look at absolutely everything? Walker just snuck up on you, huh? Yep. Wow. We're really gonna... Okay. Talk to Mike. This can't possibly go wrong. Hello? Get lost. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah! Look at woman. This ass shot there. <laughs> Me too, bud. That fucking face. I'm just gonna back away real quietly now. I still think he got higher than he needed to, but what are you gonna do? Guess it's better than the ground. It's eh. not. Hey, Nick. How's it going? Shoot anybody lately? Hey, clown. Yeah. Hey, Nick. Just thinking about loot. Just... There's no way he's gone. That he left. I mean, to be fair, if he is like tracking guys, he had to keep up with a car on foot. I can't buy it. I, I don't know. Bro, I barely met y'all. I've known y'all for a week. Count on it. And y'all locked me in the shed. Yes, I'll try and get some sleep. You should too. They're gonna ride our asses tomorrow for sure. Okay. Yeehaw. Night. So how did you end up with a name like? Examine the shells. Hmm. Looks rickety. We love that. 
that's it. That's all we have to say. Okay. Behind the counter asked me my name, so I told her it's Rajiv. Then I just stood there while a guy yelled Reggie for five minutes. <laughs> I just stood there while the guy yelled Reggie. Get out ahead of this. Say something else. That was pretty funny. Damn. You're doing a terrible job at keeping him talking, Kenny. Peek outside. Look around. Look this place fence. seems pretty secure. Does it? Mm. That doesn't sound very secure hey, either. Hey, Clem, come on. Don't be like that. She ain't doing like nothing what? wrong, Reggie. Just relax. How can I relax when she's walking around touching everything? Mind your business. I'm gonna look at it real hard. Yep. Think about it. I think that's a small nuance of why season two might not be as good as season one is because, like, pretty much Lee had something to say about everything, and sometimes it was really funny, like, in the drugstore of whenever he examined the greeting cards, he's like, mm -hmm. sorry that there's no, I'm sorry that your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. Right. Just, like, little shit like that. And a lot of times Clementine will just, like, Clementine State the obvious or say nothing. Nicely. I don't want hey, to. What the hell is she doing? Hey. No, uh, nothing. <laughs> you know, kids. They, they love not listening. not listening. He's not wrong though. One Especially job. at that age. This is real disappointing. Gonna have to tell Bill about this. Please, come on. Hey, don't be like that, man. You shut your fucking mouth. I don't know you. I don't know you either. Fuck you. I'm your worst nightmare. Dad. I'm Batman. Oh, you're I like fucked smoking. up now. Bill's gonna hear about this shit. Troy, please. Fuck you, Reggie. This is setting you back a few. Get comfortable, asshole. He was trying to help. She's just a kid. No one's talking to you, Indian lady. Hey! It's fine. Racist? I am Indian. <laughs> Everybody I get mean... to bed. You can be still racist. you can be like actually factually correct in saying someone's ethnicity and Some you're still a racist. Well the fact that you're going in and to us to you know way out of here. using it as a You up for it? Yeah. Maybe not an insult. It's your decision. Implied insult, yeah. I'm ready. Of course I am. Good, good. Confidence is good. You gotta have the right attitude. Yeah, because you've had the right sleep. attitude all we'll of the show, right? In every situation. I personally liked his son of a bitch plan, but oh well. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> We're gonna punch that son of a bitch, and then shoot that son of a bitch, and shoot that son of a bitch. My favorite. Hey now. Disrespectful. <laughs> Speaking of sons of a bitches. What? Get up. Bill's gonna have a word. Your mom's gonna have a word. Why am I on Is that harder? <laughs> Is harder the word she's gonna have? The word is fuck. That's the word he's gonna have. There's been increased walker activity along the fence, so be mindful when outside the walls. The herds moved a little closer as of this morning, but that still doesn't necessarily mean we'll be hit. Of course it no, means we're, we're gonna monitoring be hit. the situation. Now there are some folks might be sore about what happened. And how things went. Uh, literally all of us. <laughs> Pants to Rebecca, who's giving him a death glare. <laughs> Some of you are new to our community. Some of you are members who went astray. All of us don't want to be but here. know that you can find redemption here. Forgiveness. By proving your worth. Through what will undoubtedly be hard work. This is also called kidnapping. <laughs> you know, Reggie slipped up last night, but that doesn't mean he should lose hope. Today will be a test for him. I got bad news so for him. him <laughs> I'm sure that uh, there were many, many, uh, many what examples of this happening place? in uh, a little place called the Book of Exodus. Will be taking over Reggie's well, you don't have to be rude about it. Michael will continue on I showing his value. Nice Carlos! Yes? Your child seems to be in need of correction. I'm sorry. I... Sarah, 
apologize to Mr. Carver. So, I'm sorry, sir. No, no. That ain't gonna cut it. I can't have this kind of behavior on day one of your reform. You discipline her now, Carlos. How do you propose that one I... One good smack across the mouth should do it. You'll make her think twice before opening it up again. Go on, we'll wait. Wait. I'm not sure with my hand that I could... Well, that's why you got two hands, Carlos. Come on! Not some mamby-pamby thing, all right? A good hard smack. Otherwise, Troy here will do it for you. I don't think you want that. He can be... Fuck you, Troy. ...overzealous. Is that the word? If it means I'll slap the shit out of her, then yeah. It's my fault! Hey, no one's fucking talking to you! Unless you want one of what she's about to get, I'd pipe down, Missy. Fuck you. Yeah, Carlos, you better remember that. I don't know why you're not Car you're Carlos. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's Dad. basically probably I'm gonna sorry. remember that you tried to defend it's only his going daughter. To sting for a second. Also, fair warning, he is gonna go for it here. I mean, yeah, like because he has to, because he. If he doesn't do it hard enough, then she's Troy is gonna again. like pretty much knock her out, like yeah. bad, yeah. So he has to, yeah. <laughs> Took her whole self down. I'm sorry, sir. Stop! You're not coddling that girl anymore. Let her sit there and think about what she's done. Well, Troy, get Carlos to his post. Everyone else should have their assignments. It's time to get to work. I have assignments. Shit! I didn't even know there was home. There was homework. Joke's on you, I already graduated. Everyone get to work. You're working in the armory. Follow me. So, so coming up. on the bright side... God damn this thing! They're not oh, cool shit. enough to have her... Clementine! ...and the other girl working outside the walls. Which is nice, I suppose. Yeah. Who is this? Yeah, here She's we go. one of the new people. She was with Carlos and Sarah. Uh, and Sarah? I wish she'd stayed gone. She's had a hard time, Becca. So have we. We're not sitting on the ground like babies. That's it. That's literally all you go get on for inside. that. Bonnie's okay. When I said they did the 400 Days characters outside of Bonnie dirty, I was not kidding. Yeah. But didn't they go back and do the DLC like hey, after the I season came out? Your day they basically created it at the same time. It got I released before magazines. season two, but they were created at the same time. So, oh, well, yeah. Then they right. probably wrote the story for two before writing the DLC, and What's then they were like, "Shit, we gotta put this in somewhere." Yeah. Had cameos. I suppose I owe you an apology. I wasn't truthful. I almost feel like it would have been better to do what they did with, um, also from Telltale with the Game of Thrones series. I think it's Game of the Game of Thrones series they worked on, where it's kind of a similar thing where you get five different stories with characters, and like inevitably because it's Game of Thrones, not all of them are going to survive. But you could like basically have one character that you're basically saying, "I want this character." To basically fulfill Bonnie's role, and they can have different personalities based on who gets picked. That probably would have been a little bit better. Regret my part in all this. Yeah, Bonnie, you better can regret it. Which don't account for much, but it's all I can offer right now. How was your first night in the yard? Terrible. No, it ain't so comfortable. Cold, hungry, or prison. It's safe. Which is more than I can say about a lot of places out there. I was hungry. They didn't feed you? Bill said you'd eat every night. I haven't eaten since yesterday. I... I don't have anything. I'm sorry. You suck. I was supposed to go. When Luke and Carlos and all them left, I was planning on leaving too. You should've. When Luke approached me about it, I, I thought he was crazy. I mean, we're safe here. We got power, we got food. Why didn't you leave? I mean, if I'm being honest, I guess I chickened out. I justified not going by telling myself it's easier yeah. to So basically also a little bit of drinking the Kool-Aid. Not as bad as Reggie, but the yeah. Kool-Aid is still being Take this situation uh, consumed. With the Kool-Aid is the That's belief the that it's easier that to fix it than apart. from within than he, he start something over. now. Yeah. He's got a lot of this stuff figured out. What changed? I don't know. I've been trying to figure that out myself. 
baby. I mean, it ain't easy keeping a group this big fed and protected. I don't envy that position. Figured that'd make anyone a little stressed. I'm not defending There's a difference between a little that stressed was... and being a psychopath, though. I'm alive because of him. I think if he pick, he killed That's Walter, she'll freak out slightly, but... I think he's oh. crazy. He's... Well. He's... Overstressed. It's easier to just say crazy. Because remember, well, Walter was the one that gave her all the food. About how yeah. Should go, but they didn't line up with what Bill was thinking. They butted heads. Then Rebecca started showing, and that only made things worse. Maybe Luke was right about him. I wish he was around, but... Me too. I just hope he's safe. Hey, Bonnie. Is that girl down there? I need to come get her. Yeah, she's here. Well, I've been here for, like, right five now. minutes. Right? <laughs> Alright, whatever. They lost me I'm just sure a little bit. Fine. No, she ran off. I don't know where she is. I grabbed this yep. for you. Oh god, I forgot about this thing. Oh, there goes the purple. Huh? What do you think? Unfortunate. She I hates it. At the lodge y'all were at. I mean, it's it's pretty ugly. I think it might be for skiing. Had to wait for no one to be around to get it to you. It's cool. I like it. Well, I'm glad. I thought it was cute, but I didn't know what you think. Bro, you it's bad. Yourself. I, I mean, like, if it is going to help keep you warm, beggars jacket. can't be choosers, but... Oh, there you are. Right? It's with the ugly jacket. <laughs> Maybe, uh, what? Never mind. I'll see you later, Clementine. Come on. Bye. Follow me. Come on. Stay in here for a minute. I'm gonna radio down and find out what you're doing. Don't touch anything. Proceeds to touch everything. Huh? Touch, touch. Hey. Are you okay? I know it's... it's gotta be hard. That's what she said. My dad's never hit me before. To be fair, Even he didn't want to. Really bad. He didn't want to do it, Sarah. Carver made him. He's the bad guy. Not your dad. So, in a weird way, Carver's the one that hit you, not your dad. Sort of? Kind of? <laughs> Good enough logic for an 11 year old, I guess. It still hurts like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it looked like it. No well, thanks for trying to help. I don't know why people have to be so mean. Like, even when I'm really mad, I still don't want to hurt anyone. Hey, What's up, Kool Aid yeah, Man? Next Reggie's time you enter, I want you to hear, I want you to give a big careful. nice. Oh yeah! Yep. No problem, Tavia. Okay, we so gotta do a good job, guys. So for having this immense, camp is like, force of manpower, on, sure um, and like all of these people here to help doing this oh, stuff, we seem so to be know, seeing the same five people me this morning for what you were doing over and over. Night. Yeah. I'm not mad. Because you basically have what? Carver, Troy, Reggie, like Bonnie, the all the other DLC guy. characters. Uh, Pick up a pair of those shoes. So that puts you at eight. Tavia's nine. Mm. Uh, I guess we can include Johnny because he was part okay, of that. He so just got shot and died, right? so. Mm -hmm. Just Ten. pick them, put them in the basket. Simple. While you're at it, if you see any dead branches, take those shears and cut them off and stack them neatly for composting. Got it? Absolutely not. Hey, so, is she gonna be okay? No. Cause what happened down there? That was straight fucked up. I don't want her freaking out and getting me in trouble. I'll take care of her. You don't have to worry. Good, you should definitely good. be worrying. Cause I'm <laughs> awful at that stuff. Oh yes. You're this, just awful. Out I mean, this is a pretty good moment coming up right here. It's, it's pretty damn funny. Pat, Pat. That was awkward. I won't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the way he says that. I won't do that again. Bye. <laughs> I have learned my lesson and will not be continuing that in the future. Hey. 
I think I figured out at least Here, part of why me. this episode in particular feels really difficult and, like, the whole season is kind of meh, aside from, like, the obvious, like, the characters and the plot. I've spent most of this episode with my hands off the this keyboard and the hard, mouse. Sarah. Yeah. Well, I'm just afraid I'll make a mistake. It won't be the end Also, uh, I feel like season going. two is worse than one about Illusion oh, of Choice. Shit in a lot of these. And this is a good example coming up right here, actually, on the one you chose of whether you should help Sarah you or do your own work. work because if you help Sarah, then you haven't done Let's any of your out. work on your side, and therefore yeah, Reggie will get in trouble. Out. If you do not help Sarah, then she will not get any of the work on her side done, and Reggie will get in trouble. We love that. It is Reggie. almost identical outside yeah, of, like, two hey, lines of dialogue. What the fuck happened in here? Also, we've been well, working well, for, new, like, and me two with minutes. my arm? It's just not the easy... I just have... I have one arm. Shut up, so shut up. Shut the fuck up. Unfortunate. You better have an explanation for this. And I mean now. Bill, please, just... Sounds just... like you were about to give me an excuse when I asked for an explanation. It was my fault. I didn't show Sarah well enough. I guess. Nah, no, this ain't your fault. We talked about this, Reggie. Didn't we? But you just don't get it, do you? Get what? I... I... Why don't you girls wait outside? Reggie and I have a few things to talk about. Rip Reggie, it was nice knowing you. Yep, that was very a lie. It was very not nice, nice knowing you. He seems like an okay guy. Just, again, too much, too much of the Kool-Aid. He's obnoxious, but some of that at least is the Kool-Aid. You should probably look away, Clementine. I feel like we're about to see blood splatter on the door. Uh, not on the door. <laughs> but there will be a blood splatter, that's for damn sure. Yeah. Sarah. Are you Ooh. okay? I gave no, you no, plenty no, of no, chances. Please, Bill. No! No! Bye. No! no please! Ah! Oh. There's a blood please. splatter. Incompetence. It puts us all at risk, and it won't be tolerated. You think about that the next time you're asked to do something. You know what? I'll think the next time you're asked. The next time you ask me to do something. Get downstairs. Bonnie's got some stuff for you to do. I'm gonna think about shoving a pair of shears at Go. your goddamn asshole. I wonder if part of the reason he's at least a little bit nicer to Sarah is because he knows if he does anything bad to Sarah, then Carlos, who's a doctor, is not going to help him in any way, shape, or form. Well, and everyone will riot. Oh, hey. So like, you can be a bit rougher with Clementine, the guys working at but the not too rough. Real yeah, because then you're just going to make Kenny time. mad. Yeah. <laughs> but also, he doesn't know nice. Kenny that well. I don't know yeah. what how compared to the other group. Yeah. What's wrong? I would recommend yeah. uh, Carver killed Reggie, Reggie here. Reggie's dead. What? Could you get the base reaction? Carver killed him. He pushed him off the roof. Maybe. Maybe it was really just wasn't. an accident. Like, trust me, man, it was not an accident. You've just been drinking the Kool Aid. Listen to me. Take this stuff out to those guys and come straight back. Just be safe, okay? Now ain't the time to be calling attention to yourself. Oof, too late. I need to go I've been doing it. Happened. Hey, Troy, Clem's just gonna take them boys some nails. All right. Go on. Hey, that ain't your concern. Get that I'm stuff out of them boys. I'm gonna assume that that's enough brain damage for him to not reanimate. Yeah. That... Those, those, that fence, that fence. Yeah, it's is bad. Insecure. It is really bad. This is a, like a spot that they're working on. They're basically trying to increase the perimeter, which is why it's shit right now by comparison to other parts. God. I ain't nobody's laborer. Fuck that. Let them do this shit themselves if it's so goddamn important. Get your fucking hands off you me, You ain't man. gonna force me to do this bullshit. I said get your hands off me. Or what? You gonna go tail on me? Kenny. I'm trying to help you, asshole. Kenny, calm down. I want to, Clem, but this son of a bitch keeps. I just want to get the work done. And. Oh. Shit! Fucking grab something! Time for QTEs. Quack! <laughs> <laughs> 
whack a mole. <laughs> whack it. Oh god. Wee. Ah. Hold whatever that is to escape. I was holding it. I was holding it. Also, why did I drop it? Oh god. Squish. Nice. Now uh, Sledgehammer. To the knee, or the, the chest, or whatever. No, that was definitely the knee, but it was targeted on the chest, so okay. Just close the door behind you. <laughs> what? Wee! <laughs> kind of a cool effect for the sparks, though. Don't worry, you're, you're, this is supposed to happen. Jesus. Hey! What's up? Get up. Get out of there, come on! Make me save your ass. Jesus. You know what? In my defense, y'all's fence bucket sucked. Oh, thank God you're okay. All right, enough mushy shit. You get back inside what right happens if fucking I took the now. I'm sure they got shit for you to do in there. Uh, I think now. it's just, again, illusion think of choice. Think I'm fucking around? Now I gotta sit down here and babysit you assholes. Can't do a simple fucking patch job without me here cracking the whip? Bad, bad phrasing. Yeah. Bro, you better haul ass, Clementine. If, like, if the herd's not even here yet, that oh fence God. is not gonna hold. I know who that is. Ah, ah, stop! Hey, it's me! Luke! Bro, you scared yes. the shit out of me. Man, get the hell out of me. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Bite, on. bite. Come all this way. This is this. Is the <laughs> I love how you have hug him and hit him. <laughs> I was thinking about you, him. You can bite him and be like, I was so worried about y'all, then you just fucking punch him instead. All right. Listen, we ain't got much time. Okay, I followed y'all here best I could. I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed. And, well, that's the first chance I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay, they got guards watching everything. I mean, yeah. Shh, shh. Bro, you better hide. There's a herd of lurkers just south of us. It's bigger than I ever seen around these parts. Carver mentioned that. Said he hopes it passes us. Yeah, sure. That'll happen. Yeah, I heard folks talking about that, but it ain't so. Okay, it's gonna hit this place. I know it is. Now, I don't know when, but it's coming and it's gonna be soon. Uh -huh. See, I've been looking for places to, to get you all free. When do you think the herd will be here? I don't know. It's hard to say, really, but I, I reckon it'll wash over this place when it does. See, Carver? Oh, he ain't dealt with anything like this before. It seems dangerous. Well, the whole situation's dangerous, but, well, we're in it now. It's what we got. We just... We just need a plan. No way to get you and, and everyone. Luke! Oh, sorry, sorry, shit. Okay, Troy ain't gonna like you being late. Listen, Clem, I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time. Because I, I need you to get me one of those radios, okay? Do you think you can do that? Just just one of those... If he seems slightly frazzled, I think, in the option where he's say, slept. Yeah, he'll say, like, he hasn't slept in however long, if you say, are you okay? I can keep an eye on him for you all from out here. Look, we ain't gonna be able to shoot our way out of here, so we gotta be careful. Okay, I'll get you one. Thanks, Clem. So and in the meantime, you need to get, like, find a place that nobody we'll goes to and get some sleep. Try and be here right right. So you're at least a little bit more, uh, a little more need one of those there with us. Just let everybody know I'm all right, okay? I'm worried they, uh... Get out where I can see you. Go on, get, get out of here. The hell were you doing? Huh? I was hiding from walkers. Don't go in there, you hear me? That is all fucking limits to you. Bill Radio wants a word with you up in his office. So get this on up there, well. now! <laughs> yeah, the last guy that went up into his office, it, uh... Mm. Well, you're about to find out. Yeah. 
I think this is the point where if you had Wyatt, he would have been right there and said, like, uh, Carver doesn't like idle hands, so you should go and talk to him. Mm-hmm. Rebecca! I wonder what happened. She's a strong woman, surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Now get in here. <laughs> yeah, your kid isn't gonna get raised around weak men, I can assure you that. Alvin? Oh, God. Alvin! He passed out hours ago. He can't hear nothing. No point in making a racket. Why are you doing this? Me and him, we got history. Understand? A couple things we had to get worked out. You suck. I wouldn't be so concerned about his well-being if I were you. Not with you being so close to the fire yourself. Now. The fuck do you want? You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are, and you won't end up over in that chair. Eh, uh, yeah, fuck you. Now, you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. Uh-huh. He kept <laughs> Not enough to not kill him, though. folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. And that's why he killed but him. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will and weak of character. Yeah, well... And we can't have that around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. You have to be able to contribute. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like man. us to Probably. leave them safety. If the world hadn't gone to hell, I bet you'd have a podcast well, I wish it was different, talking I about Alphamon. But they are weak, and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock, to keep them safe. It's their nature to follow, not to lead. I mean, he said not to lie to him while I was in the chair. No more alike than you yep. think. There's no way. You <laughs> I don't think. I wish Kenny had shot you. Would be alive though. <laughs> I realized that back in that cabin, you were scared, but you looked me straight in the eye, kept your nerve. That's what we need if we're gonna get through this. The next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Yeah, I'll Kids be leading like y'all out of this. Raise the right way. And you'll be the one lady raised. Get all your ideas Ain't from comic book villains. Keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not no natural selection like leaves the survivors stronger and better. But I ain't worried about that anymore. All right, now. Hello? You there? Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Try really knock the shit out of it. That How was when Kenny it? got his head Rails bumped against the van. Mm. That was pro doing that. Fuck it up. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. <laughs> it on its way, That's fair. and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. That's fair. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. Your mom is almost supper time. Good one. Mm -hmm. Nailed it. Got him. That does bring up an interesting point, though, with uh, the idea of how Clementine acts in seasons that you actually control her. Namely, four and well, obviously, four and two, three, you see it rather than control it. But the idea of, of I think, one of the reasons so in particular that season one is so popular is it kind of borrows the archetype of the, the, the kindness courage archetype where one person has one of those elements and the other person has the other. And you typically see it a lot now in video games with the daddy daughter dynamic, usually the daughter having the kindness and being able to teach the adult how to be kind and the adult having the courage and teaching the kid how to be courageous and so now that Clementine kind of inherited the courageousness side from Lee that's why she, uh, Carver can kind of like see that in her like even though she's scared she'll still be willing to do stuff because she learned it from somebody who also had that trait mm -hmm. yeah those dynamics work pretty well usually yeah. sometimes you'll see those in like daddy daughter uh, you can see it in friendships they fucking used it in Yu-Gi-Oh of all things with uh, Yu-Gi and the Pharaoh you can see it with siblings we just need something really like older brother and the younger sister. Yep. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. I saw the controls. 
They're in Carver's office. I think that's also She's why a lot of people liked the first uh, in Bill's office. first game of The There's Last of Us because it's very similar. Down. It actually does something okay. interesting in the fact that it is like the, the, the as you would expect of like the older the guy needing the courageous uh, needing the kindness and the little girl needing the courageousness. Perfect. And that the end it actually flips because at the end like. Basically, the girl is almost raped. Like, it's, it's she manages to get the upper hand on her attacker and, like, takes a machete to his face about 30 times. So, like, he ain't coming back. Kill him. But needless to say, it leaves her very scarred. And at the beginning of the the game, like, the character you control, Joel, is, like, he doesn't ever talk to the girl because, like, he's just supposed to deliver her somewhere else because she's actually immune to the bite. And so, like, she has the potential to, to give humanity a cure for the virus. And she talks to him all the time and tries to get him to open up, but then in the last from. season, okay. which are like so some sort of the episodes, he's doing a bunch of talking and she's like completely withdrawn, and so it, it role reverses to where he has the kindness and she's trying to give it back to her. Some guns and shoot our way are, I, I like it whenever they swap can, the, the character dynamics and kind of have to they take what they learned from the other person and then have to kind of bring it back to where they're kind of at least in a happy middle, if not bring them back into, you know, their original Actually, character archetype. I, do yeah. it I think that's one of the reasons that one of the reasons of many why The Last of Us Part Two falls so flat is it doesn't have crazy, good shit. archetype communication <gasps> between characters. Exactly. Not of just like, oh, there's not a happy yourself. ending. Because like, if there's yeah, not, there's not. You. Like, you can still have good archetypes really and good characters with a sad ending well, I don't know easily. Uh, Trust me. But I've just the characters don't quite mesh. You can tell that it was designed to be a one-off, but it was like, hey, more money. What? It's how we got out of the Marsh House. Lee covered me, and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that, too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. This goes great. Where the hell did she come from? Dude, she's been here this whole time. <laughs> you have not been paying attention. We just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then, just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so... Probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing Probably. breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Which is why we're sending the kid up there. Come yeah. on. Up and at him. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. The no, sad thing is, he's yes. right. I mean, yeah. Wait, wait aside, if we we're picking somebody to go, Mike, you want most of these people are completely out oh. because we either don't know them well enough or they're like Rebecca and they're in no shape to be doing shit like this. Don't right? go. I got you. Oh, this goes so well. So well. I assure you. Okay. Uh, there's gonna be some kind of action that I have to do. You're gonna have to click to the little thing over there because somebody's a guard's gonna come up and he's gonna have to let you go. But they're no idiots either. They see you not in your bunk, we're all done. Shit, he's coming back. I gotta let you go. I can't stand here. Grab something. Ouch. That was a really quick like reaction time though. I'm not gonna lie. We're in trouble. I might have missed it if I didn't know it was coming. Also, speaking of the herd. Rapidly approaching. Yep. And long loading times. Skylights. No problem. There's gotta be two or three thousand of them out there. In the parking lot? No, not in the parking lot. I can't see them all, but I see the dust they're kicking up. So you're not sure? What about? <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah. I don't want that skylight. No, nah, the skylight's in the back, back right of the the map. Okay. You can just look around. Well, that's about it. God, yeah. You think we're ready this time? I don't know. I don't think we are. Yeah, that one right there. We learned a lot since last time. Enough though. We'll find out if we turn this way. I 
love the uh, doubt in their voices. That does not make me nervous at all. Yep. Um, not even a little. All right, let's go, I guess. No time like the present. Move along. It's crazy about Reggie, huh? Yeah. You think Bill? Go on. Uh, I was just, I was wondering if you thought Bill maybe. Spit it out, man. I don't think Bill was gonna let him back in. Huh? You don't. Also, I guess that's another character that's here, Hank. Okay. Okay. So eleven now. Which still, that's like. Yeah, it's still small. I know. I'm just trying to keep track. You think we're ready? Mm -hmm. Just out of curiosity, mostly. The homestead, at least. I'm not sure about the expansion. They're out there, just annoying. That's what they do. It's driving me crazy. It's really unnerving. I know what you mean. You figure we'd be used to it by now. I wouldn't figure that. You never got used to a light buzzing or anything? A little different when it's dead human beings walking around. I'll give you that one. Yeah, that's fair. What are you doing tomorrow? Yeah. Bill wants me to start getting this bay door fixed. Is that why you're down there? Yep. What happened to it again? Troy backed into it when we brought the prisoners, the, the new people in. See, it's hard not to call the prisoners. Anyway, I'm looking at it now. I don't think we have what we need. Jesus, really? We repurposed a lot of shit to get this place. <coughs> I can't say for sure if we even had the materials before we started expanding. You can't be smoking back here. Yeah, here's Vince. Vince, come on. Don't give me that. <laughs> if Bill smells a whiff of smoke back here, he'll flip. Good, what are you right? thinking? You know what? I'm just gonna tell him. I'm not letting someone else get blamed for this. That's bullshit. Yeah, you fucking tell him, Vince. That is yeah, bullshit. Yeah, Vince. You Vince. Can stand there on your Vince, soapbox and your high horse and... I think Hank actually comes into the room or, like, continues to talk to her on the radio if you don't have Vince there. So, like, she'll be distracted either way. Ah. You get him? Okay, jump down. I got you. Are you sure? <laughs> Mrs. You're dead. We best get in bed. Troy will be back any minute. Uh, no. Hell yeah. Well... My question is, why are you on the floor? Everybody stay where you are. No need drawing suspicion. <coughs> I, I think the rest of them are all on the, the higher... So yeah, like Nick's above them right there. They're, I told you, you probably they're wouldn't die. They're bunk beds, nice but job. instead of being two, they have three. They just have one underneath the other two. It was nothing. Sure it was. Anyway. <coughs> it's rest. God. My allergies have been out. You're telling me if you're wondering why I keep blowing my nose, that's why. I can't tell if it's really bad allergies or just like the world's weakest cold. First thing that come like to that. mind are always the dumb things he was doing. Kid was always running in circles. Every There's always time to think about went, Duck's stupid face. Uh, couldn't stop him. Makes it sounds like your kid had ADHD. He was probably did. A good boy. But again, like a lot of kids that age, it's hard to tell because they could just have a shitload of energy. Right. Not even necessarily ADHD, just really active kid. That too. That's Some why you get a like lot of misdiagnoses at that age or younger. Yeah. All right, we're all here. Well, one reason anyway. Someone's got to get the radio out to Luke. What's the problem? We should probably figure out who's doing what before we. Uh -oh. Well, too late. Y'all should have gotten up earlier. Time to get up. Daylight's burning. They let you sleep in, all things considered. Where's my dad? He's where the rest of you are going. To work. Rebecca, Nick, Sarah, Jane. If you gotta take a piss, do it now. The next break won't be for a while. Troy will be coming up for the rest of you. Why just them? Like I said, Troy's coming for the rest of you. That's, uh... Not ominous. Promoting in the slightest. Oh, hey. 
Yeah. All right, look. If we're gonna do something, we have to do it now. And if Luke's all we got, then we pair up with him. I can do it. Where's the meeting? Mike. Yeah? Clementine should do it. Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> That's fair. I mean, they've only known Mike for like a day. No offense, but come on. That's crazy. She's a kid. Why would... There's a million reasons. She knows Luke. She can hide. She got the damn radio for us in the first place. Who cares? Making I'm sorry, a scene Mike, right but now. I don't know you from fucking Adam, all right? And if I'm trusting someone to do something this important... Why can't you do I'm it, Kenny? Her. Kenny's right. I should do it. Don't do something stupid just to get some respect. She doesn't need your respect. Give me the radio. All right, little chickens. Let's get to pecking. All right. Yep. And don't think today's gonna be like yesterday. No <laughs> way. No shenanigans. I'm this rooster's sorry. gonna be surveilling your ass name. every second of the day, you hear? Got that? I'm afraid I need an answer, girl. Yes, sir. Come on. See, that should make him oh, nervous after all. all of the attitude yeah. that I've been given this whole time. Gonna get your tags all snagged on something. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's go. All it needs is the little bubble at the top left. Troy's not impressed. Yep. Troy will be confused by this. I will say, like, he is a she one-note villain. He is literally just there to be an asshole. Yeah. But, like, by God, they did him well for a one-note villain that is literally yeah. just there to be an asshole. Wait, wait, what's going on? Never mind. Just chores of a different sort. Come on, City Mouse. Can't you cut her a break? She'd really rather keep with us, people she knows. What, what are we doing? Don't worry about it. Come on. Don't worry about it, but we're about to go do it, so I worrying. should, in fact, be worried about it. Worrying. You can't stop me I just stop wanted to make sure you were all right. It. I didn't believe you when you told me about Reggie. Uh -huh. I ran and found Bill once I left you. Thanks for Figured telling me. Even if he had done it, he'd make up some sort of excuse, but Bill was just so matter-of-fact about it. Like he'd pulled up a weed or something. Mm -hmm. Like it had to be ah, done. And that was just one of those moments when your blood runs cold. Goose Wait, hang on. Am I supposed to be shocked? As it turns Give me a second. Let me, let me get my shock. Well, never. She's been drinking the Kool-Aid, and all of a sudden uh, she found out the, the Kool-Aid was not, in fact, cherry-flavored. It was grape. Something the matter. And now her whole world mm -hmm. has been changed. Everything's the matter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know you can talk to me, right? I was dishonest when I first met you, but I swear on everything holy that'll never yeah, happen again. Fuck it. Bonnie, Luke's waiting for me to give this to him. He needs it. Clementine and all Bonnie of will remember that. Love that. Is to just not care where I am for 15 minutes. If you get caught and you mention my name, Carver will be the least of your troubles. Okay? Uh-huh. Sure. Well, what are you sure. waiting for? Sure. Alright, I'm gonna go. better hurry that shit up. I hate babysitting you assholes. Luke? Luke? It's me, Clementine. It's safe to come out. Uh -oh. I'm picking up real sketch fires. Luke? Where is he? I think you're on an air quote set timer here, but like you just examine everything. Like it doesn't really matter what you do here per se. Come out. Because basically you're gonna get caught by Troy. You can't like hide or anything like that. Even if you're actually in a spot where he could not physically see you from opening the door, you still get caught, which is a bit stupid. Was he sleeping here? Caps lock on. I swear to Christ. Like, he wouldn't have been able to see you from there because you were behind a shelf. Yep. You ain't supposed to be out here. 
I feel like I could have at least like people been here one fucking day and already you're fucking up somewhere. Well, you wait. Well, you'll find out why I won't matter pretty shortly. Right. That's why it didn't matter. He got caught. Damn. And how is it that we're repaid for our trust? I know for the record, if, uh, with the thing with Bonnie, if you hadn't told her specifically what you're doing, it, I know for, if you say, What's I need to go on? talk to Kenny, she will let you go talk to Kenny, and then you just take a detour and go to where Luke is anyway. I don't know what the other two options do. I assume it, it still leads back to essentially you being able to get to where Luke was and then finding out he got caught. Because there's nowhere else you can go where it ain't. Tough is all we got now. Get that through your fucking But most of the time I Absolutely. see people play. Most of the time I see people play, they just pick, I need Luke to get this radio to Luke. Like, they're just honest. You gotta help yourselves. You gotta help me find the strength to forgive you. Now you can start. By telling me where the other one is. Um, I'm gonna five. count to three. If that radio ain't in my hand by then, we'll have to make things more difficult. One. Two. I found it. It's right here. I got it. Kenny will cover for you no matter what you pick there. Yeah. It's alright. I get the feeling he's not that. actually gonna get Not sure here. what I was thinking. Three. What do you mean, three? <laughs> well, you'd be wrong about them not getting punished. No, I feel like you can get punished in a different sort of way. Jesus Christ, stop! Stop him! Somebody stop him! Troy, do Let something! Let me go! If I Clementine, were a fucked up cult leader, this, um, I no. would... Um, stop it! Kenny! Kenny! Shit. Please! Please, stop! Please! I would punish him. No. You know what I'm please. saying? Please! I think it's the idea also of, like, making the, uh, one of the stronger men of the group physically stronger. Even though he's getting the shit kicked out of him now, he is one of the physically stronger That's people enough, in their group. Phil, please. It's kind of the same thing Phil, Negan does and why he kills Abraham when they first run into him. Yes. Of, like, right, taking out the strongest. Me, he acts like he's doing that eeny meeny miny moe thing, sure but, like, I think in all actuality his plan was to kill Abraham all yeah. along. Okay. No supper, and I think Abraham also knew that, which is why he flashes uh, one of them a peace sign, like right before we'll he starts to get tomorrow. beat up by uh, Lucille. Mm -hmm. Do your best with him, Carlos. You need to get him able to move, because we're leaving tonight. Thanks, Bonnie. We're leaving tonight. Yeah, that's what changes her mind on, like, leaving or not leaving, regardless of what you picked, is whenever she sees that happen. Better late than never, question mark. What happened if I chose to help Kenny instead? Troy would have knocked you on your ass, and you would have a like nice little scar on your left cheek. He uh, basically hits you with the butt of his rifle, uh -huh. and it just like knocks you flat into the ground. And I think you just keep that cut for like the remainder of the the season. Mm -hmm. What'd she say? She said she can get us out of the pen if we get the PA system going. Second she hears it, she'll run over and spring us. That's great. It's not great. What are you talking about? Look, I know part of this is my fault. I, I, I know. Why isn't it great? Because most of us are beat to shit or pregnant. That's fair. And besides that, <laughs> most of us are in fact pregnant. And most of this group is now. Risky, guys. Mm -hmm. Risky? Did you see what that son of a bitch just did? The, the plan works. Nothing needs to change. It's all set up. The hard part is done. This guy's fucking crazy. Who knows what he'll do next? Yeah, but now we're dealing with a guy beat to shit. Sarita had no shape to do anything, and I'm a goddamn mess. Look, we should rest up. Okay, we should bide our time. And we should wait for an opening. Yeah, you're also Bonnie's assuming that the herd is tonight, actually And that doesn't mean she can't do it some other night. Yeah. I don't know, guys. Luke's making sense. Maybe we should wait. We're not waiting. Ain't nothing out there, guys. Trust me, I've looked. There's no food. There's no supplies. They picked everything clean. How's Kenny? Doc's over there working on it. And don't look good. 
What's the diagnosis, guy who can't tell a dog bite from a walker bite? Right. Diagnosis is fist to face, repeatedly. Can I see him? I don't think that's a good idea. His orbital is crushed. I don't think there's much hope for the eye. I got him as stable as I could. Cleaned it. Yep, you got me a bar. Swelling down. Bandaged it as best I could. But until he wakes up, we won't know if there's any damage to the brain. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, look. Maybe I'm just playing devil's advocate here, but if... Damn it, if y'all are serious about going tonight, then we're gonna have to start talking about maybe leaving some folks behind. What? No! There is no other way. This is bullshit. Well, I don't like it either. I feel like there is another way. It's and where it we're probably at. Kenny and I are only here because of you people, and now you intend to leave us behind. So we should risk all of our lives? No, we're not leaving Kenny. That's not fair. We stay together. Life ain't fair, Clem. We're just trying to make the best of a bad situation. Mom ain't fair either. Nothing. No one wants to leave Kenny. We're Good. leaving people. We're leaving you too. You won't have to. I'm all right, huh? Another good set of lines here in a second. We leave tonight. Plan don't change. Not bad, old man. Thanks, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> a tough bastard. Do tough bastards get their ass kicked in front of everybody? <laughs> Sometimes. You all right? That wasn't your fault, okay? It's all right. It wasn't, but like he took that for her, basically. I mean, like yeah. he probably wouldn't have done that specifically right. to Clementine, but we he definitely took that punishment for Clementine. Yeah, like now, now. And I think the yes. only person he would have done that for, other than her, would have been going? Sarita. In case things get squirrely and we gotta make a break for it, we need a place to meet up. We could meet out at Parker's Run. What the hell is that? It's a Civil War site a few miles north. Tourist trap. Got signs all over. Just follow the road. We stopped there after we escaped the first time. Luke and Carlos know where it is. It's not that far. Well, at least if a few folks know where it's at, it'll be easier to find if we're split up. All right, that works. Then we just need someone to go set off that PA, right? I mean, you never bother to explain who's supposed to do that. Hey, how's it going? What's up? Wait, wait, hold on. She's Why the is it always me? I'm gonna need a boost. <laughs> I don't or know, Neville. Neville. <laughs> I don't know. Be but sure it gets funnier every time. Outdoor speakers. Just the indoor speakers might not draw the herd. Also, I will say, like, as as cool as it is to have Clementine be a badass, I do think that is a bit of a problem, air quote, with the second season. Is like, it's one thing when everybody turns to Lee. It's another when everybody turns to an 11-year-old girl to fix all their problems. Outdoor speaker switch. With Lee, Turn it's like, yeah, he's one room. of the more capable Down people, fully grown adult male, hands. but whenever it's a kid, right? it's just like, wow, are y'all this incompetent without me? Like, <laughs> would I have to feed you? Be careful. Okay, I know that Clementine just repeated everything okay. she just said, but like, I got half of it. Flip on the outside speaker, make sure it, it's it is very PA. easy. It's very fucking easy. It's literally like, make sure you bring Alvin. Alvin. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna have bad news about Alvin. So the million dollar question is, is Bill fucked up enough that he would keep a zombified Alvin in his office? Probably. I mean, we saw what the governor did with the heads, right? The walker heads and the glass tanks. Yeah. Oh, it makes me nervous. Can I talk to you from, like, Alvin, over here? Are, are you okay? He is not. Absolutely not. I'm gonna go ahead and go. Okay, so I switch on the external speakers. Okay, now the mic. And then turn it off. No, no, 
Oh, no. Now you're doing it right. No. Where are they? Should be a CD somewhere you can throw in there. Compact this. Come on, come on. Please work. And you're good. Like I said, it pretty much does most of it for you. You just click whatever the only option is. Shit. Nope, surprise, he is actually still alive. What? Yeah, he's still alive. Are you serious? Yeah. He also has a great line here. Carver talks all that tough guy shit, then keeps the tiniest gun in the universe. <laughs> that really is a tiny ass gun though. Like that's shorter than a pencil is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on. We have to go. I ain't going anywhere. But you are. Go on. I mean to get some payback. No. Oh, shit. Yeah, you fucking go get your We're payback, boy. Leaving. I ain't fit to move, kid. I've, I've run out of rope. What? No, I'll, I'll just go up there and shut that thing off. You gotta get out of here. They'll be here any second. Thank you. Now take care of my girls. I get the feeling it's, it's gonna be a girl. Ooh, Just the hunch. It is, yeah. Go on. They're wrong. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I thought he killed yeah. him one hit, and I was like, oh, no, wait, he did kill him. Okay. Yeah, he did kill him, but he stopped the guy from oh, stopping the PA system and saved you, so. Mm. Rest in peace, Alvin. They completely mitigated your character by doing absolutely nothing with you, but you did go out with a heroic sacrifice. Yep. Alright. You want to disrespect me? Fine. Oop. You want to throw away the life Oop. I'm trying to build for us all? Then fucking fine. Want to run off with this dog shit group of crippled fucks? Then Rude, fine. Rude, I But I will put a bullet in you at... Surprise. Uh. Bitch. <clears throat> nice punch. There you go. Get back. Shoot him. Shoot him in the dick. <laughs> Anyways. We start with his dick, then with his kneecaps. Uh-huh. This ain't none of your business. Also, Come for on. real, that's gotta hurt. Why is it over with you? Where is he? Uh, you know why. Alvin! You know why. I mean, he died more heroically than almost everybody else yeah. we've seen thus far, if it makes you feel any better. At least in this season. Rebecca, Rebecca, sweetie, my god. How did we get here, you and me? It makes it really hard for- I feel like it's gonna- This is just a bit of a custody battle we got on our hands here. Shoot him. Uh, we should tie him up. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, we got any rope? Uh, oh. That's fair. Any yeah. Faster than tying him up. Yeah. That's. I won't begrudge him that. Also, I'm so sorry, Sarita. Now you're low-key traumatized. Um. Oh yeah. No. Um, oh yeah. Um, <laughs> Kenny is about to unleash absolute hell on this man. Kenny. I love how most of them are. They just wordlessly walk off like, "Oh, this is gonna be bad." <laughs> Can you leave him to Go the walkers? This is poetic justice. This. That girl's already seen more. Well, this is also Shut poetic justice because he's gonna bash his face in, just like he bashed Kenny's face in a little bit. Yes, we don't have time for this. I'm making time. <laughs> That's a pretty badass line. Uh, yeah. Look at you, you fucking ingrates. I don't even know how good you got it. Really? This is how you're gonna go? That's all right. You'll learn. Lambs to the slaughter. No shepherd to guide you. Clementine knows exactly what I'm talking about. Come on. Okay, Come on, Clint. what does this... What does this affect? Just you see if Car how Carver dies or you don't see how Carver dies. Uh, Fucking big what? man. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Oh, come on, Clementine. Don't be like that. 
Don't run away. You know the only people that stay to watch, obviously Kenny, since he's the one that does it, uh, Rebecca and Clementine, if you choose to have her stay, yeah. Rebecca will watch. Which is fair, because like it's also implied that she was basically raped by him, so she would absolutely want to watch this, and I would not begrudge her of it either. Absolutely. Well, I'd let her take a few swings. I mean, shit, I'd give her the crowbar. Just follow my voice. It'll get you there. That's what she said. You got a thick fucking skull, Kenneth. Should have put you out of your misery right then. Now look at you. You're all messed. I mean, I assume his mess method of death is just getting the shit beat out of him with a yeah, crowbar. Yeah, it basically, like... Imagine Glenn's death in the show, but about, like, ten times worse. Like, uh, it's not that his eyes go out of his sockets. Like, they completely come out of his skull. Like, ooh. that level of bad. <laughs> like, he absolutely fucks him up. I wish... I thought... I could save him. Sorry, baby. People don't change. This just in. And, honestly, Carver kind of deserved it. Come on. We yeah. got enough to worry so about. So, it, it's fine. Man... We're never gonna make it through this. You kidding me? If Clem can handle it, you can. I don't know about that, Shit. man. I thought they were coming from the south. They did. Looks like we're in the eye of it now. Fuck. This is fucked. Here. You're gonna need something. Thanks. Are we gonna cover ourselves in water guts? Yep. Okay. Go, man. We ain't got time. You guys better hurry up and get to the time to be squeamish. Or you can die here. It doesn't matter to me. Do it quick. Sorry, buddy. It's a uh, friendship bracelet. That on yourself? Friendship necklace that we put around our necks. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I was gonna say that's called intestines. I would confirm what this feels like with gutting a deer, but nobody wants to hear that. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Be okay, honey. Just stay still. Uh, are you sure? I'm sure. There's nothing to fear if you remain calm. I'll keep you safe. Yeah, she's been doing great at remaining Hurry the calm. Fuck up. Turn around. I'll get your back. We ain't got all day here. Everybody ready? They're almost on us. What in the actual fuck is going on here? What is this? Well, how's it going, motherfucker? Someone say something before I start. Hey, 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 hey! Don't you even fucking think about it, motherfucker. I will end you. You hear me? You should be a little Troy. more concerned and aware of your Troy, we talked about this. What? what? The fuck you talking about? I told you I wanted to get out. You said you'd help, then I'd help. I thought you meant get out of the pen. Not whatever the fuck this shit is! I did. But now we can leave. Troy, you can come with us. What? Well, where would we go? Away from here. Together. Please tell me you're not Man, in love you with smell me. really bad. This is gonna be a good moment here. Bath before we... ah! There you go. Shot my dick up. <laughs> you shot my dick up. Don't make any noise. Got it? They might hear something they don't like. And for fuck's sake... A very fitting end. He gets his dick shut off and then is unceremoniously killed off screen. I mean, he wanted something even, so like, you know... There we go. You know the weird part about that, though? I already don't miss him. Yeah. We got this, y'all. But I mean, that was pretty funny. <laughs> Does it matter how is that fast I walk? Nah. Where's Bill? We need him up here! <laughs> Where's Bill? Uh, about that. Shh. And be okay. Don't run. I'm not gonna lie to you. I would probably be this way. Clementine, come help me. Calm her down. Please, just say something. You're her friend. Clementine. Bye, Carlos. And no, there was no way to prevent that. He always dies there. Sarah! Oh, she hit us! Sarah, get, Sarah, get a hold of yourself! Sarah, did you... 
Noom. Oops, Butterfingers. Yeah, so remember that talk we had about like weapons like axes getting stuck really easily? And there you go. Now you have to make a choice, because there is a choice here. I'm aware of the choice. Um, can I make it, please? Either the arm or the zom zom. <laughs> Pretty good scream there, too. All they did was just add a little bit of echo at the end of it. I mean, yeah, like, no matter what we can say about this season, the voice actors in every single season are fantastic. Yeah, the VAs I are have really good. I've never been genuinely disappointed overall. Yeah. By, there's been a couple phrases that I'm like, eh, that's pretty weird. Sarah's glasses. But, like, that's I've never been. That's the writing, not the, not the voice acting, yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna get someone killed. If I had said I had the radio, Carver might not have been as... as vicious to... Don't ever think that, darling. No telling what that is. This was part of the beta, too, because you do actually do this, like so you're cleaning his wound at this point, I but it's not in this location. Mm -hmm. You need to get past that walker without drawing all the others. What are you gonna do? Hey, follow-up question. Why do we take off the zombie guts? <laughs> I don't think that scene ever plays out, actually. Don't let them pull you down with them. Whoa. All right. All right. So, 54.5% of players helped Sarah with her chores. Pretty sure that um, number was higher in the actual one. But again, like I said, one of the biggest illusion of choice ones ever because it changes pretty much nothing. Yeah. 36.5% um, of players told Bonnie about Luke. Oh, that's, I think, that's... about inverted, actually, from what it was originally. I think most people are honest. But since we kind of already mentioned this before, since this is Definitive Edition, if people played this season before and they knew how Bonnie's story played out, they were probably okay with lying to her because mm. she screws you over multiple times. Yeah. Um, who admitted to stealing the walkie-talkie? As you can see, um... It's behind the V. So something point seven percent. I'm gonna say it's like sixty six point seven. I'm gonna guess that's in the sixties, yeah. Close so to seventy percent. That's, that's exactly you know, two thirds. Yeah. Um, who all watched Kenny Kill Carver? Fifty one point four percent left with Sarita. Pretty even. I think that number was higher on the percentage of watching actually rather than leaving. I think it was like eighty twenty. Mm-hmm. 56.9% chopped off Sarita's arm. Yeah. All right. So, people that we have lost. Significant. Um, uh, Reggie, he he wasn't a bad guy. He was just... Too much Kool-Aid, man. Too much Kool-Aid. Way too much Kool-Aid. Also, he was a little bit obnoxious. Like, <laughs> the that was weird. I won't do that again, though. That is yes, shit. Like that every is that never funny. gets old. Every time I see that, I chuckle at it. That's hilarious. Um, Troy, good fucking. Riddle. Like I said, he is designed to be a one-dimensional villain that you are glad when he dies. And exactly. if that's what they were aiming for, fucking perfect. Five stars because nobody likes him. Everybody laughs when he dies. Like. See, and I'm not gonna lie, like, I feel like his death was more satisfying than Bill's, because, like, Bill was a very, very bad person. I'm not gonna, yeah. like, I'm not, I'm not gonna deny that. But also, I kind of wanted to shoot his kneecaps out and then let the zombies eat him. Yeah. Because it's poetic justice. It's poetic justice, because you're keeping these people enslaved and brainwashed like zombies, so you get consumed by the zombies. Yeah, but it, but it is a good, like reverse for Kenny, though, as well, because Kenny loses an eye, and now he's literally gonna bash his entire face in. Yeah. So, well, at least for him personally, it works. I feel bad for Sarita, though, because Sarita genuinely does not understand who she was yeah. romantically entangled with, and it just it just doesn't go well. It doesn't go it well. It really doesn't, yeah. 
Um, Alvin, wish they had done more with him, honestly. I think a lot of people might not. They'll try to take the shot, and so he'll die in episode two, so you get even less time with him. Uh-huh. But I think what what helps him a little bit is the fact that he does... He knows he's screwed, and so he does stay behind to buy as much time as he can, and he does actually manage to kill one of the guys that comes in, so... Very Alamo, less last stand style. He's pretty bad. I wish that he'd gotten more than one person killed, though. Yeah. I kind of wish that, like, two or three people had burst in. Yeah, man, just to get them all right before he goes. That would have been pretty sick. Yeah. But, unfortunately, not. They, yeah, they just did not use him more. They were too focused on, in episode one, namely Pete, Nick, and a little bit of Luke. And in episode two, uh, Rebecca, Nick, uh, Walter, Matthew, and obviously Kenny as well. He just, like, never came up as a central character ever. Whenever he did show up, it was very minimal. Like, most of his story revolves around taking care of Rebecca, not he himself. Exactly. So, that's kind of where he falls short as a character. It makes me wonder what all they would have done with him had they had, like, the appropriate time. Let's say things get shifted around and other characters die and he survives to episode five of what happens there. Also, Sir Puppington's title keeps getting longer every time I see it. Yeah. Yeah. And that just, that kills me. Um, who else died? Carlos. Carlos. He was... Carlos, honestly, the more I watch this, I think it almost felt like he was written by two different writers. Because sometimes he was, like, really smart and intelligent of, like, the whole, despite the intent, there are consequences to actions, is yes, 100% true, and he is right. And then there's other times where he's just, like, a fucking mess. Yeah. Like, where he goes back and forth on, like, oh, I want you to stay away from my daughter, I want you to help my daughter, talk to my daughter, you're a friend. And then, like, just just back and forth. Like, Mm. I don't 100% know what they were really thinking for doing that, and I'm not sure they knew either. It's almost like he was two different characters and they were like, you know what, this is too many, we'll just squish them together. Yeah, it almost did feel like that, which makes me wonder what would have happened had they split those into two separate characters, because there's the kind that, like, still cares about his daughter, does want to nurture her, but, like, does understand that he needs other people from the group, including Clementine, to help. And then there's the other version that's just an absolute fucking dick. Exactly. And, like, he's the most back and forth of them all. Rebecca starts out mean, and then she gradually gets nicer, and it's more mm-hmm. the, like, the because-they-don't-know-you type of thing. With his, it just goes back and forth, back and forth, all the time. Exactly. And so it's like, I can't ever tell where his head's truly at. Because he can be nice to you one minute, and then an absolute dick the next. It's and like, it's so weird. Honestly, for the progression of the story, it was probably for the best. Because, like, that's the thing, too. That's the thing, too, that absolutely kills me. Is not once do you ever see him checking on the pregnant woman. At this yeah. point in her pregnancy, it would be tantamount to make sure that she is not, you know, fixing to have a bad situation... And they're going to have another, at least one zombie on their hands. Yeah. Like, you know, like, it's... But you never see him checking on her. And then, like, the rest of the story makes sense. And so, because you can't really have a doctor after this. Because now we have a medical crisis where we don't have a doctor. We have somebody that's missing a hand. We have somebody that's got a screwed up eye. We got somebody that's And pregnant. Sarah who's freaking out. We have Sarah who's freaking out. Like, you know... Oh, I don't know if you saw it, too, as everyone was running away. Uh, Nick also got shot in the shoulder, so still mm-hmm. alive, but yeah. he got shot as well. So, also shot. But also, it it would have been dumb for them to all be shooting and not have shot any of them. At least, well, yeah. Because they were mixed in with all the zombies. They looked like zombies. They were moving like zombies. Like, you yeah. know, a zombie's a zombie. Shoot it. It really, the only difference that they could have told was, like, oh, they're moving away from the building instead of towards it. That yeah. was it. Did it still have, like, the PA system playing? Yes, it did. Was there running? Okay. Apparently, no one thought to, like, actually go turn it off after the first guy didn't get to it. Right? For whatever reason, so. Exactly. Well, and see, if there were, like, multiple people that came out that Alvin took out... That would make sense as to why it didn't get turned off. Yeah. But, like, sending just the one guy to go fight at least one person that you know is there because they turned on the PA yeah. system, and potentially Alvin, who might be alive and trying to fight you, but also might be undead and trying to yeah. kill you. the very least, you could, as bad as it would sound, basically use Alvin as bait, and then while they're distracted and like, oh, I need to shoot Alvin, that's when you get the jump on them and take them out, so... Exactly. Like, so you don't send 
one person to do a job that is at least two people. Yeah, that was a. But also, the majority of the cast that was in this was like the non main cast. Yeah. Were the uh. Were the DLC characters. Yeah. Instead of. And they'll uh, never show up for the rest of the the series, actually, other than Bonnie, because she leaves with you. Yeah. Exactly. So, like, it's one of those things where it's, you know, it with the configuration of people that they have, it doesn't, like, there's not necessarily extra people to go in and die in that situation, but, like, you know, again, I kind of have that complaint of, like, we saw, what, what was the final count? Eleven people? Yeah, eleven. That, if That's including all the DLC characters, provided yeah. that they're there. Eleven including all the DLC characters, which isn't there an option for the DLC where you only get one of them? Yeah, you you have the potential to only get Bonnie if yeah. you do certain events. So that would be like... That'd be down by four, so seven. Yeah, seven. So that's really not a lot of people. Yeah, even but if you're going to include the, the group that escaped, that's still only like well, at most nineteen. The people that were up on the roof and shooting, that was a lot more people. Yeah. Like, that was a ton more. So I don't know. It doesn't really... The number of people that they have that they show continually... Like, I know VAs are expensive and everything, but, like... And character models are expensive to make and move and stuff. But, like, you could at least have one or two more people. Yeah. So it feels more well-staffed, well-rounded, stuff like that. Yeah. And part of the issue slash weirdness of this, too, is, like, usually every season has, for at least a couple episodes, like, their big bad... And Carter feels like a big bad that should last through the entire season, and now we're 60% of the way through and he's gone. Yeah, pretty like, much. Like, with the first game, like, for the first episode, there's not really one because you're forming the group. Second mm-hmm. episode, it's obviously the St. John's. That mm-hmm. goes without saying. Uh, and then pretty much for episodes, starting with the end of three, up till that point, it's a little bit of Lily, I guess, mostly. Mm-hmm. But from three on, it's The Stranger. And The Stranger goes through pretty much all the way to the end. Up to the point where Lee's been bitten, and at that point you don't really need the antagonist because the story can fuel that point. What happens with this one is you basically have Carver pretty early, like, as early as implied as the first episode when Clementine's waking up from falling uh, unconscious from the dog bite. Mm -hmm. And then now that Carver's gone, basically, in my thinking of who the antagonist is, at the very end of it, kind of everyone but you in a way like they're all antagonistic in their own separate rights because of how things have gone well and i feel like it's kind of a good it's a good example because like i said like the so the big thing with the walking dead series admittedly from i only saw up to like the first episode of season six um but from what i could see in most circumstances the they had one big bad antagonist of the season and in the seasons that they didn't they had something else like a you know walker event like a sickness or something that was otherwise problematic but they didn't frequently have just literally the entire group is at each other's throats genuinely ready to kill each other um and then at Fear the Walking Dead, that's that's it. Everyone is trying to kill each other all of the time. Yeah. Just all of the time. The idea, at least in the literary sense of using... Because you have all the man versus, like man versus man, man versus self, man versus... Man versus everyone is bar none the hardest one to use because if used ineffectively, mm-hmm. it really makes the rest of the story fall flat. It doesn't matter how compelling the characters are. Mm-hmm. And I, I feel like that's what ultimately kind of happens here. Yeah, because in these episodes so far, it's like compelling because we're working to band together. We can do this together. We can survive together. And then they turn around in the next episode, episodes, what episode are we on? We just finished three, so four and five are still left. Yeah, like the next two episodes are everyone versus everyone, and you are just a little girl trying to live her life. Yeah, (laughs) it's basically United States. When we need to team up against another threat, we will do so. But if we do not have an immediate threat in the area, all we're just going to do is infight, basically. Exactly. So, yeah, maybe that's part of the reason is because it just gets reflected in our country that Mm -hmm. I don't want to see more of it. But it just, I don't know. Because, like, I'm thinking about the characters that survive through episode five up until a certain character, you know who I'm talking about, Yeah. uh, dies because they're kind of like the last hope minus 
uh, Clementine them, uh, herself. Exactly. Is pretty much nobody, whether they survive or not, at that point, gets out without a, the scratch. The scratch being like they do something severely antagonistic. Yeah. Literally every single one of them after that point. Yeah. I mean, everybody just kind of loses their minds, to be honest. And I mean, I get it. I get it. Don't get me wrong. They've all been through a lot of really traumatizing events, and a lot of people don't have the coping skills to handle that. But also, like, I don't know, sometimes I feel like they're in, the th- the reason why I had to stop watching The Fear of the Walking Dead is because everyone was just too evil, too asshole all no the time. No one to root for. No one to root for. And there's no one to root for, and it's, it's, it's too fatiguing. You know, like, yeah. empathy fatigue or whatever. Yep. Like, I, I don't feel bad for these characters. I can't root for them. I'm rooting for the zombies at this point, to be honest. <laughs> Team Zom. You know, like, I'm, I just, I don't feel bad for anyone, and whenever they make a bad decision and wind up doing something that'll end in their demise, it's like, oh well, should have known better. This sucks to suck. Like, the only thing I kind of like about how this one ends is it, it kind of mirrors this part right here in part three with Bonnie being like, it's the equivalent of, and why a lot of people finish the story for this one the way they do, of... Sometimes it is literally better to just cut and run rather than trying to fix something that is not going to stay together. Exactly. And that's ultimately what happens with the group, particularly in episode five. Exactly. Episode four's also got a couple moments that are just... They're not as bad as, as five, but there's just some moments where it's like, why did you do this the way you did? It's just mm-hmm. very, very poor decisions. Mm-hmm. I can think of two in particular that I'm really not a fan of. People make poor decisions sometimes. This just in. Yeah. Pretty much for episode four, I would say it's like, it's basically Kenny spiraling and a lot of build up for Jane because she didn't really do anything in particular in this episode. Like, she has a couple lines, but she doesn't get fleshed out until episode four. Yeah, she's just kind of there, and then they're like, ooh, we have a character. Exciting. Because you, you get a little bit of Mike. A little bit. Not a lot, but some. A little bit, yeah. Not a ton. And it's basically enough for him to be like, yeah, he seems like hard worker, wants to get stuff done, but not like the Kool-Aid I just want to get stuff done. It's just like, I want to live a better life rather than yeah. like, yeah, I totally believe everything that Carver's saying, level of like Reggie and, and Bonnie at the beginning. So it's not mm-hmm. quite as bad with him. And then also uh, at the later point where he's agreeing to help Clementine and being like trying to use more mm-hmm. logic and reasoning of, should they go with Luke's plan? Should they wait? Should they mm-hmm. should they go tonight? So you get a little bit with him, and you get you see a little bit more from him in, in part four as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, did we miss anybody for deaths? I don't think we did. I don't think either. So we talked about Alan and Carlos. Um, Troy. Troy. Uh, Carver, I guess, technically. Bill. I mean, I stand by what I said. Like, he was the big bad, but I don't... I, I didn't feel like his death was particularly satisfying. Because, uh, like I said, I feel like I understand revenge. I understand stuff like that. But I feel like there's a level of cruelty. And in that moment, like, it should have been satisfying to see the villain defeated. But in that moment, I just felt bad for Kenny's girlfriend. Like, yeah. wow, it really sucks realizing that the person that you're with isn't who you thought they would be. Yeah. And I think part of the problem with him, too, is... If you look at the time when you have the build-up, which is, like, halfway through episode one, because you have Omid, Krista, Mm -hmm. her being by herself, the build-up starts with episode one, and you run into him pretty much at the end of episode two, not quite. Mm -hmm. So it's, like, a little over an episode, Mm -hmm. and then you have an episode here. So the time Mm -hmm. in build-up and the time in actually meeting him versus him getting killed is almost the same. So I feel like he might should have stuck around for a little bit longer. Maybe not even doing cruel things, but, like, having basically lost everything, he's just like, I'm going to track these guys down to the end of the earth and kill them if it's the last thing I do. Well, that's the thing, thing, too. It does not make sense to me why he would force them all to come back. If I were him, I would kidnap Becca, kill as many of the rest of them as possible, and I'd consider kidnapping the other ones, and then the minute they step a toe out of the line, back there, I would shoot them. Yeah, you just execute them right then and there. Exactly. Like, I, I at the first sign of back talk, I would have shot Kenny. Honestly, yeah. if I were him, like, I, I would have taken Becca, and I'd have shot everybody else. 
Like, the only person I would, like, might consider keeping would be Carlos, if he is actually a useful doctor. Because would, those are a rare commodity, but, like... I would keep Carlos and his daughter, because him without his daughter wouldn't go well. Yeah. Um, so I would keep him and his daughter. Pete, I, unfortunately, yeah, he's gotta go. Nick, he's a fucking idiot, he's gotta yeah. go. Luke brings too much morale to the group, he's gotta go. Kenny, mm-hmm. yeah, Sarita, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I was gonna say Walter, but, like, Walter's... He dies either way, so... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Alvin, obviously, yeah. He's mm-hmm. not gonna keep Alvin alive. He literally beat him to death, practically. Yeah, see, I would have just shot him. Yeah, he basically wanted to get the point. That's why he didn't kill Alvin immediately, is he wanted to terrify Rebecca. As that's basically why he did it, I would assume. And I started where he's that. still alive, like you could feel a pulse still alive, but beaten yeah. within an inch of his life just to terrify Rebecca. Of like, I think he was too overconfident in his brainwashing skills. And on the one hand, like he did succeed with Reggie, but literally only with Reggie. Everyone else. Like, Bonnie took, like, two conversations with Clementine to turn. Yeah. I guess, I guess technically the other DLC characters in Tavia as well, maybe, sort of. Maybe. You don't see any of it on screen, but. Well, like, Vince, Vince, in, you know, in his one line that he has in this season, he is talking about how, like, you know what, I am not, like, letting, like, he, he fears Bill yeah. more than anything else because he's not willing to get punished for something someone else is doing. Yep. So really, he fears more. He fears the punishments yeah. more than he values his loyalty. And so, if there yeah. was a way that he could get away without punishment, he would have taken it. Yeah. It's just kind of the different ways of leading, and he kind of has to do a mix of all three, whether it's through love, through fear, like whichever. Exactly. So he maybe that's his air quote skill is the ability to identify what works well for mm-hmm. for different people and figure out like okay, I need to use. Mm-hmm. threats against this person or I need to coddle this person to make them feel like they're loved and cared for even if I don't actually love and care for them mm-hmm. so that could be part of it but fear doesn't work long term no. especially in when the fear of what's outside is greater than or equal to the fear of what's inside yeah but yeah wild yeah like I don't know they, there's just something else there that they didn't quite nail with him mhm He's not, like, a terrible villain by any stretch of the imagination, but it's, like, just doesn't quite, doesn't quite work. They could have amped him up more. They could have, um, played more into, at the very beginning, he was somewhat, like, charming, you know, like, he, if they had played that up more, because, like, the minute they get them kidnapped, like, he's just a raging asshole. Yeah. And so if he if he played it as the, oh, I'm benevolent and I'm not, like, swearing at you and hitting you at the earliest opportunity and making you slap your daughter, like, if you played it up on the, I just can't bear to punish you, but it's for the best of the group. Yeah. Or maybe even trying to, like, groom Clementine and being like, yeah, I can tell that you're a lot like me, like... Yeah, exactly. Whether she goes along with it, pretends to go along with it, doesn't go along with it, yeah. is up to the player choice, but you only get, like, a little snippet of it, and it's less the grooming and more of, like, the, I realize that we're similar, rather than, like, I'm going to make you like me. It's Would he have gotten like, to that point if they had been forced to stay? Yeah, probably, but that didn't happen, so... Well, and it's more of a, like, I know you're like me in a way that he's trying to... Not, like, groom her in any, in any inappropriate way. He's trying to... Uh, the same thing that Negan does to Carl, basically. Yeah, like, he's trying to co-convince... Dude, these are loaded words. Um, yeah. He's basically he's trying, trying to make to Clementine into, like, her. the next generation of himself. Yes, yeah. that, exactly. Like, he's Which is exactly what he, he says. He's like... Yeah. Because he even says that with Rebecca, like, strong mm-hmm. woman surrounded by weak men, but that's not going to happen with my kid. Exactly. Like, my kid's going to be surrounded by strong people, so. Exactly. It's the typical ideal of natural selection, leaving mm-hmm. better survivors, and all the weak ones will get weeded out. Yeah, exactly. And so, I don't know, I think it would have been interesting if we saw more of the kind of 
charming and manipulative side instead of just yeah. the brute force. Because then it would make more sense with yeah. Reggie and everything like Because, I that mean, way. like, that's the idea of a lot of people, whether it's ones, like, in the show with Negan or even, like, real-life people where you've got, like, Hitler and all the dictators. It's like, they had to be charming at the very least at the beginning because they wouldn't have gotten a following otherwise. Exactly. Because if it's just them, they, they don't have enough ground. Like, one person can't take on an entire country by themselves. Well... This isn't the Terminator. I typically would agree, but there's two uh, recent circumstances that yeah. I slightly disagree. Yeah. But in most instances, like, most instances. if you've got no army to back you up, like, exactly. the two ways to defeat an army is, one is to obviously cut off the head, but if you also take away all the soldiers or have no soldiers to begin with, then the army's uh, not near the threat that it would be. Exactly. So they have to be charismatic enough to pull people to their side. Mm -hmm. And, f like, the fear must be greater than loyalty, but fear is easily worse than other fear. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. It's much harder to overcome loyalty with fear than fear with fear. Yeah. So I feel like they went for... It's it's not a one-dimensional character, but it's definitely not, like, a three-dimensional character either. It's, it's a 2D character. It's somewhere in between where it's, like, there's some little flashes here and there, but it's just not quite fleshed out enough. And if you're only going to have your character around for basically one full episode, I can get how that... Like, mm -hmm. you're just not going to have enough time with all the other characters. Because, as you probably already noticed, uh, if you did not have Alvin with you, if he died in episode two, and if mm -hmm. Nick had died in episode two, they barely have any lines. Like, yeah. it's almost nothing. Nick has, yeah. like, three or four. Alvin has, like, three or four. That's it. it it's, that's really it, one. yeah. It's cool to see Alvin's last stand, but, like, outside of that... Basically, the only line he he has is whenever Karma calls him up, and he's like, "Yeah, okay, I'll be okay, Rebecca. I'll see you later." And then, of course, he never does. So, yeah, that's really about all he gets. I mean, she sees him briefly. Yeah, he is unconscious. Yeah, I'm presuming he was unconscious during that entire thing. Yeah, or maybe potentially, I don't know. Maybe he. Well, he's unconscious like, whenever Clem gets Clinton there. Gets so there. maybe he beat the shit out of Alvin while Rebecca was forced to watch. I don't know. That's possible. Like, I'm sure. beat him up enough to where he couldn't really stand and then actually beat him into unconsciousness or something yeah, like that. something. But yeah. Well, I have no way of knowing. I, I oh, feel well. like he had a lot of really good potential, but ultimately... Yeah. Well, now he's dead, so... Oh, no! <laughs> you also get, like, a really interesting, and a lot of people use it in watching the, the growth archetype for Clementine if you do stay and watch... Because basically what happens is it will cut between Kenny bashing in Carver's skull. You don't actually see the hits that much. It's kind of like with Kenny getting beat yeah. up. And, like, at first she's, like, flinching and, like, looking away. And then at the end she's just, like, watching it with, like, a completely stone face. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the literal point. of It's like, yeah, this is where Clementine has gone from a kid to a young woman. Like, she mm -hmm. gets desensitized to it. Because, sure, she's already seen people killed. She's already had to kill people, potentially, like, with mm -hmm. a stranger. But with that one, like, that's less than a murder and more of a massacre and, like, she gets why he had to do it, and See, that's and I, where she I starts also to mature, feel like, really. I also feel like in Kenny killing him, he got what he wanted, because he was consistently, like, egging him on, like, ha, ah, kill me, ah. Yeah. And I feel like if they had left him to the zombies, it would have been a more poetic death, and it wasn't what he wanted. Yeah. You know, it would have deprived him of taking something else from these people. Maybe the reason and they like, didn't do that, though, is because they already did that in season one. They did that with Andy, remember, where you can either kick him in the electric fence or walk away. That too. And most people but, did choose to walk away from that. But isn't there a scene in season three where we can do that, too? Where you can... Either choose to, like, beat somebody to death or, like, oh, um, away? Oh, with, with Badger, yeah. So you basically get three options. One of which usually you don't get because Conrad's dead by that point. Yeah. Um, so one of them is to let Conrad do it, which is my personal favorite if you have Conrad mm -hmm. still alive because, like, he killed his wife. So, you know, yeah. you're like, yeah, take the baseball bat, fucking have at it, man. Like, I'm not going to stop you. Go for it. Um, the other option is, like... Um, because you've shot him with a shotgun, so he's internally bleeding. He's basically dead. So you can leave him to turn, mm -hmm. bash his head in once with the baseball bat, or, like, keep bashing him the head over and over up until mm -hmm. the point where Trip runs in and he's like, dude, Javi, stop. He's clearly dead. Mm -hmm. And even then, I think you can still do it one more time. So mm -hmm. those are the, the options you get. So you uh, get, like, I four, like... I guess, five. Yeah. And, I mean, I guess, it, I guess it makes sense because Clementine isn't the main character here, and so technically it's not her decision to make, you know, like, it's Kenny's yeah. decision, because he's the one with the crowbar, 
But I feel like it would have been a good poetic repetition, especially if, like, if Lee had gone in and, because, like, she can see Lee whenever he's contemplating whether to kill the brothers, right? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, with both of them, actually. And so it would have been interesting to have an option to where she can say, hey, can he stop it? And it actually gives him pause. Like, if... Yeah. If in the previous one she had seen Lee refuse to kill him, yeah, or even if, or even if she had seen Lee kill him, and she said, "Hey, can he stop? I don't want this to be like last time," and then that made him pause long enough to not kill him, yeah, or hell, even just give the crowbar to Rebecca, you know, yeah, I'm I'm down for that too. Yeah, that would actually be kind of that would probably be the best version for me is that would be the, if, if he's got to go with the crowbar is letting rebecca do it because like with the with the zombies that's poetic irony with the uh with carver it's ironic because man yeah. getting his ass kicked and getting actively murdered by the woman that he and he actively says that she's a strong woman she, he says he's a strong woman surrounded or she's a strong woman surrounded by weak men it's like right? well, yeah now she's a strong woman surrounded by the weak man because exactly. you know his knees are shot out and he's clearly it been, toast it would have been a different kind of irony yeah, yeah that would have been a really good like empowerment moment for rebecca exactly although at her stage of pregnancy i don't know that she could have physically done it yeah <laughs> to be fair possibly not <laughs> but it would have been cool to watch yeah at least let her get one hidden yeah my whole leg is asleep, like everything underneath <laughs> my knee. Good lord. <laughs> so yeah, that will be the uh, the end of uh, seeing Howl's, unless we get a certain ending, in which case uh, Clementine will potentially come back there after it's all been, herds already passed through, places mm -hmm. vacated. Mm -hmm. But we will find out in one of the uh, five endings which one you will end up with. Excellent. Uh, until then, uh, I assume we're done for the night. Uh, yeah, that's probably I was about to say, unless you want to keep going, but it is 1 a.m., so bear that in mind. Yeah, that's probably for the best. <laughs> but that means next time we will do episodes 4 and 5. We'll probably just do 4 and 5, because the Michonne miniseries, even though it's the episodes are shorter, it's still uh -huh. four episodes long. Yeah. And so it's, it's probably going to be, like, its own entity, where it'll either be two sets of two, or maybe all in one hit, but probably two sets of two. Does it need to be um, in a particular order between the seasons? Not really. It kind of stands alone. None of the characters from the main series cross over or vice versa. I just okay. figured it's the best place to put because oh, yeah. it's like new content, season one, DLC is, or old content, mm -hmm. new content, season two is old, Michonne mm -hmm. is new, season three is old, uh, final season is new. That so makes sense. It just made idea. it the best spot to, to put it in. Mm -hmm. I think at least chronologically in terms of how long it's been, I think the Michonne miniseries is either between three and four or at, uh during and after four it's it's pretty late in the cycle but it also doesn't come up in the games so yeah. it doesn't matter yep does not does not matter at all and if anybody is curious about that you also don't need to know in particular anything about like michonne you don't need to know anything about the comics everything for her backstory or at least a good chunk of it is is explained pretty early so screw the rules i have green hair and it, it's really well done i think the writing which would also be another good reason to play it is I do think three is better than two. I think the Michonne miniseries has probably the best writing outside of maybe season one and, uh, and maybe season four. All right. It is really good, so it will counterbalance the not as good writing here. Yeah, it's 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 still all things considered. As much as we've complained about season two, it is still exemplary. Like this whole series yeah. is amazing it also and had like a lot to live up to story. with season one <laughs> it really did it did have a lot to live up to and no one can replace lee in our hearts yeah um, really can't. but like really uh, above all else this is a very good game it's engaging it keeps your attention like i i thoroughly enjoyed everything that i've played thus far from uh from the walking dead series like i've enjoyed all of it Yep, we will see how it progresses uh, in the final two episodes next Sunday at roughly the same time-ish. Roughly. Six, Every seven time. central, somewhere in there. And uh, depending on when I know exactly when we'll start, I will post a link in the Discord. But for now, we will end things off. So thank you all for watching, and we will see you guys next time for episode four, which is uh, Amid the Ruins. Excellent. Oh, they changed the... the... 
pitcher, which is kind of a shame. In the old one, they had like basically like war paint, but it was like tribal war paint. It was blood coming down her eyes. It looked oh, really cool. cool. Yeah, it's kind of a shame they took that away. Also, I think she's wearing the ugly jacket instead of uh, her default. Yeah, something like oh, that's that. That's kind of a bummer. Oh well. Oh well. We'll see you guys next time. Later.